Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Um, I just wanted to make a commentary, if I could, on the state of affairs in Michigan. It seems like a lot of people have uh, let this issue drop off of their radar. And let me remind you that this should be a nationally important issue. And yet, I do not hear anybody in the political realm talking about what is happening there with the emergency managers that are being put in place by the governor in distressed quote unquote uh, cities and towns and other incorporated areas of the state in order to oust democratically elected officials and then go about uh, dismantling and selling off privatizing uh, uh, city and township functions removing the democratically elected leadership of those municipalities, and these people are accountable to no one and can basically do whatever they want. Now, I would expect that uh, if there were people who really were in touch with what is going on in this country running for office, that they would have something to say about the systematic stripping of the rights of people by denying them the very people that they voted for in actual elections for the implementation of emergency managers who are appointed by the governor in Michigan to go into these townships and cities and systematically rob them. Rob them not only of their elected officials, but also to rob them of the very things that they own by privatizing things, and by sacking and firing people, and by directly attacking unions. And as I noted before, Obama, for all of the people who want to point out, yet again, stupidly and moronically, that somehow Obama is selling out to unions all over the place, wake the fuck up, would you? He personally has attacked teachers' unions, all right? And he has not done one lick of anything for any of these states who have come against unions. Ohio and Michigan and Indiana and you name it. Just keep adding states to the fucking list. And the idea that he's a socialist? Give me a fucking break. He's a fascist. He supports corporate socialism. That's fascism. He's a fascist. Just like Bush. Just like every other fucking president we've ever had. And where's the sainted, holy, halo-wearing Ron Paul on all this? He should be screaming bloody murder about this because you're taking away people's actual constitutionally protected government that they put in there. And he, even he's strangely silent on what's going on. And you know why? Because he doesn't give a shit. As far as he's concerned, they could have the USSR of fucking Michigan with Joseph Stalin running the whole fucking thing as a commissar and take over every fucking city in that state, sell it off to a private corporation and you'll have what we had with Robocop, I guess, where Detroit is built and run by a fucking corporation. That would be 100% fine with Ron Paul. And it doesn't matter if they take away all of your fucking rights. And it doesn't matter if they subject you to this, which is contrary to everything that the supposed Constitution, which is totally laughable and ludicrous, stands for. Do we elect our officials? Are we supposed to have some kind of accountability from them? At least theoretically. I know it doesn't actually exist in the real fucking world. But what does it say in the fucking piece of paper that these motherfuckers talk about that they think is so fucking important? The Constitution. What does it say in there? At least. 
Are we supposed to have a republic form of government? Are the states supposed to conform to that? Yes. And what you have in Michigan is a complete dismantling of that. And that just goes to show you yet again that the Constitution is fucking meaningless. And it's meaningless for Obama, Mr. Indefinite Detention. And it's meaningless for fucking Ron Paul, who would let every state go about doing whatever the fuck they wanted. Let's have a Nazi state here. Let's have a Soviet-style state, state here. Let's have a corporate-run state over here. And let's have a state over here that shoots immigrants that come across their border. Because they don't want any more population. A-okay for Ron Paul. And that's why he doesn't talk about what's going on in Michigan any more than Obama or anybody else does. But this is just exactly the same kind of thing. Systematic stripping of rights. Systematic destruction of anything that was ever any good about this country. With no accountability, with no oversight, done by fiat it's a fucking travesty thank you